Hello and welcome to Excel Essentials. In this session, I'll be covering VStack and HStack. So firstly, I'm going to start off with showing you how to use VStack. And as you see, we've got six mini tables here showing us our products, how many of the, each product we have and the cost of each product individually. And let's say you need to get it all into one table for your boss. Now, we're not going to select each one, copy, paste, select, and then just drag, or we're not gonna do any of that. So I'm gonna hit Control Z so we go back to as it was. And as you see, we've got these six tables, which are all static, so there's no dynamic updating of any of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the VStack formula and the VStack formula is very useful when you want to combine lots of arrays that match the same table structure. So we're going to type equals VStack and we're going to open the bracket. Now VStack stands for virtually stacking, vertically stacking. So it will be from top to bottom. And we're going to select our first Ones. We're not going to select the headings because they're all the same and we've got it already in columns N to P. And then we're going to hold control and then we're going to select the second one. And then we're going to hit control and select the third one. Control, select the fourth one. You can do a comma and then select your fifth one and comma and select your sixth one without holding control. You can do that as well. In some regions, you may be using semicolons as your separators and then you will close your bracket and as you see it is added everything and vertically stacked it so if we were to look at leotards for example we see it's 18 items and two dollars 95 a piece and as you see it's copied it through and vertically stacked it correctly with all the values being matched appropriately Now we're going to look at HStack. So as you see here, we've got three tables of sandwiches that we produce and make. Now, HStack stands for horizontally stacked. So we can create a table from horizontally stacked tables. So as you see, it's all got the same headings, product, cost, cost to make and profit or loss. And you see, we've got those headings here. Now we're going to open HStack and open the bracket and we're going to select our first table. Now you can hold control or put your comma or semicolon and then select your second table and your third table. And now if I close the brackets, you see now it's brought it all through and across. Formatting might not look quite as right as you see here. But if you want to go ahead and fix that, feel free to select your table, select your currency and click pound. Now I'm going to show you how you can use VStack in a more advanced way. So we've been given a task by our boss and he wants us to combine the last six years worth of data. And as you see, we've got a 2017 sheet at the bottom all the way through to 2022 with anyone who's purchased anything within our company. And as you see, the data spans several hundreds of rows. And we need to combine it all into one. We can do that with VStack. Now, first of all, we're going to do equals VStack, and then we're going to open the bracket. Then we're going to select our first year, which is 2017, and hold shift, and then select 2022. Now, this is going to select each of the sheets, so it grabs the data from all six of our sheets. Now, we're going to select our data, so it's going to be the first year, and we're going to se select what we can so as you see 2017 we didn't have many sales and we're going to adjust this row number here so instead of it being 34 
we're going to change it to about 10,000 just to make sure we grab everything within our tables. And then we're going to close that and we're going to hit enter. Now, as you're going to see, there's a lot of zeros. And if I was to go to a 10,000, you can see then we have our 2018 data and the same to our 2019 and 2020 and so on. Now, I'm going to head back up to the top here and I want to get rid of these zeros. What you can do is you can wrap the VStack formula in a filter formula. So I'm just going to select the VStack we did and I'm going to copy that just so we have that for later. Now, I'm going to write filter. And we want our array, which is what we have here with our VStack. And then what we're going to do is we're going to include specific a specific range. And this is where we don't want the zeros and the blank cells to be counted in. Now we'll paste what we copied here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the column reference. So it's all in the same column. So A2 to A10,000. And we don't want that to be anything that's blank. So we do a less than and greater than and then two speech marks. And as you can see, it will now not grab anything that is equal to the speech marks, which is blank, empty cells. And then we're gonna close the filter formula. Now, if I hit enter, you can see now that it is added in all of them together and stacked them perfectly without any of the blank rows. Now, let's say we've got another piece of data for 2022 and they hadn't added it in in time. And so let's go to the bottom here. I'm going to drag this down. And as you see, we've got our new receipt number. And let's say the cost was $40. Now, type that in if we go back to our our VStack, you see it is now dynamically added that in as well. Stay tuned for more Excel Essentials.